Hey there, this is Randy from UX Stars, and this review is going to be a little bit different than some of my others. Just a sort of impromptu thing that happened to me today, as I guess they always do. I was going to go to a conference the other day, and I paid for the conference on Eventbrite, and I tried to attend the conference, and then I was denied access. So, what do you think I might want to do now? I wanted to get a refund. Uh, because I couldn't attend the conference that I wanted to. Now, nothing I say here is meant to in any way reflect on any individual that you may see throughout the course of this. The event organizer does not design event right, okay? But I wanted to give a realistic situation here on just how important it is to allow people not just to buy tickets, but to get a refund if things don't work out, right? And let's see how event right currently does at accomplishing that. Okay. So I am on the Eventbrite website here. <sighs> Where do you think I might go ahead and click if I want to go and uh, get a refund? All right, well, I do see a few things up here. I I'm tempted to sort of go into maybe my events or something like that, to the things that I've gone to. Okay, now, you know, I don't want to create an event. Now I realize that what they mean by my events is the events that I would be managing. Okay, that's not right. So let me go back to the home page. Did something weird happen there? Yeah, I'm not on the Eventbrite homepage. No matter how many times I click this up here, it's not taking me back to the homepage of Eventbrite. On certain sections of the Eventbrite website, it keeps you within sort of the subfolder in the site that you were in um, and the convention that folks are used to and is a good practice is to okay you can have your name up here in the upper left hand corner possibly a little home icon or your logo and clicking that should take you back to the true home page of the website um, that's a very common thing so I've got to go up here delete that and Okay, great. Now that didn't work out. Let's try something else. Now, I see tickets is here um, and also here. I assume that maybe they go to the same place. Okay, so uh, UX Research and Strategy. Love them. Wonderful group. This is not uh, one of their events that I was going to. Um, I was looking for a different group that I was going to attend, but I don't see um, my history there. It took me a while actually to perceive this button here. I mean, it is in the center of the page, but it just, you know, they hid everything except for upcoming events. And I've got to go click here for the past orders. I would find a way to bring that up in um, being observed a little bit more. Okay, great. I see the event um, that didn't quite work out. Now, Take note of what you're seeing here. Um, it shows when the event was, and it shows the order ID number. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, all right, well, let's go to that event web page. <sighs> well, not a heck of a lot of obvious refund options here. Um, and in fact, um, on other places of the uh, website for Eventbrite, I've seen things to just flat out say, oh, tickets are non-refundable. <laughs> Um, you know, <sighs> okay, so this is not working out. Now, if I click on a view event details, what are we going to get here? Do these look like event details to you? These are really not giving me any kind of details or any, exp you know, any expansion on it. But what if I click view details one more time, which is what I did to get to this page? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, now we're actually on the details page. So if you're going to sell somebody that you're going to the event details page, you should just, like, take them to the details page. All right. <sighs> Access the event. Well, it doesn't really make any more sense because today is the 13th of December, and this is a past event now, right? Sales have ended. Oh, yeah, here we go. And here's the refund policy. Refunds up to one day before event, right? fee is non-refundable. The sentence is a little confusing, but basically it sounds like they don't want to give me my money back. 
Um, however, I did hear that there was a way to request a refund. Um, <sighs> but where is it? I scroll down this page here and they're just sort of telling me the actual details for the event. So let's go back to the tickets. Oh wait, the tickets button's not here anymore. Um, and so that's another thing to watch out for. If you have a sort of a section of your website that looks like it has some common navigation and then all of a sudden in a different part of the website you decide that all of that can just go away, that can confuse users as well. But let's see. Oh good, I still have access to tickets here, but the ticket button over here is missing now. Whatever. Um, oh, you know, I wonder if help has anything for me. Help page. Contact an event organizer. Okay, so, all right, well, let's take a look. <sighs> request a, we a refund. A refund, great. I'm doing this all in one recording, so forgive any uh, mispronunciations. Now, if you ever have a web page where you're having to write out this many instructions on something that is um, request refund, um, and you're telling folks how to do these different steps, there's a few different things that can happen. Um, one is this page could just get out of date. I'm not saying it is, but when you have a long instruction sheet, uh, instead of just sort of helping the person accomplish the task, you need to, at the very least, make sure that these pages stay up to date. It's very easy to say, oh yeah, there's some documentation out there that tells people how to do it. Um, and it's probably not somebody's KPI and like, we need to increase the number of refunds this month. Like, but guess what? For customer satisfaction, if that's your KPI, then well, that would be in there, right? <sighs> so yeah, whenever you see all these steps written out, you know, what, what is occurring to me is like, why isn't there just um, a button here to go ahead and do a, a refund request. Now, there's a refund request form here, but it only applies to COVID, so that's not going to help me. Whew. Okay, so, you know, there's no, nothing here is linking. It's just like, remember all these steps. Maybe I'm supposed to write them down or print this out and check by check, you know, finish it. Oh, goody. Um, anyway, so I, I, I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to get here for this one. Um, request a refund. Well, you know what, let's try it. Go to Eventbrite, click tickets in your account and select the ticket you want a refund and then say request a refund. Let's just see how well that goes. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the Eventbrite homepage, but again, oof, the um, upper left-hand corner does not actually take me to the <clears throat> Eventbrite homepage. Um, If you don't do anything else, just try to make sure that on your website, the upper left-hand corner actually takes you to the homepage when you click on the name of your organization or logo. All right, great. Back to tickets here. Back to past orders. Okay, now already, it's been a little while since I saw that other page, and I'm kind of like, what were they saying to me in step four? Okay, I'm on the event. Uh, Request a refund? I don't see any button for requesting a refund. Um, now, I'm not saying that there's not some kind of hidden option here, but so help me. Um, you know, at this point, yeah, I'm thinking, ah, it's like five bucks. Maybe I'll just forget about it, right? No, we're not going to let it go. All right, so contact the organizer. Oh, yeah, can I get a refund? Oh, good, we're back at this page. We've gone full circle, folks. <sighs> you think we can accomplish this? I, you know, I'm, I was having doubts um, because it, it, it's, it keeps making it feel like, hey, I'm on my thing. I'm saying, clicking the thing that says refund um, and I'm not having too much luck. Um, have a question for the organizer. Now the organizer had messaged me to say that I 
could go and click contact the organizer, which is ironic because I was talking to the organizer on a different venue, but to do it through Eventbrite. Let's see how this works out. Oh, contact the organizer. Finally, your refund request will be reviewed by the organizer. In most cases, the Eventbrite fee is non-refundable. Now on another page, it just said, uh-uh, you're not gonna get it. This is a little different wording, isn't it? Your order fee is 194, whatever. Whew. Contact reason. Question about my event? Question about my ticket? I guess it's a question about the ticket. Now, why isn't there just a button? Like, if I went to my tickets, there should just be a button that says request refund or cancel order or, yeah, no, request refund. Just, just get it done. Um, and here we go. Um, Can you please refund my ticket? I was not able to get access. Was not, oh, how'd that happen? Oh. <sighs> okay, once submitted, a refund request cannot be canceled. Make sure your information is correct. Yeah, that's me. Um, can you please refund my ticket? Okay, great. Um, now, some people here might actually think that they submitted it because they see the word submitted and um, they kind of think, why would there be a two-step process to request for a refund? But I do see that. Okay, and done. Easy. See you next time. Adios.